Now let's get into the verses. The first verse of the song is pretty basic, and there's there's a simple way to play the verse, and then when he goes over the four, and even over the one sometimes, he does some, some of these double stops that make it a little more complicated. It progress, progressively gets harder as you go through the song. So let's start out with the first verse. So when he starts singing, first verse, I've actually got the second verse here, first verse, he's going to start out, he sings over the four, so he hits the open A, and then... Same as before, but this time on the first verse, instead of doing the, the hammer-on open A, he's going to do something like this. I think he's bending down a little bit on the third fret of the sixth string, and then letting go with the open A string to get into the four. So it starts out, and then... And then right here, he does the first of these double stop introductions, and it sounds like he does something like this. So to do it in context, let's do it. And then back to the one. So the whole verse... sloppy, but I was thinking at the same time. So he's pinching, just like he did in the introduction. But when he does this over the vocal, or behind the vocal, he's going to stay up between the fourth and the second frets, and also the open. So it's like this. Open, second fret, fourth fret, open. So those are the only possibilities, but he plays them in different ways. So that first one sounds like he does something like this. That's the one where he hesitates. So like, let me try to play it in context again. First part of the of the verse. Then when he finishes it, he hits the open sixth string to head back into the one. And that's how he does that. That's a little complicated. Look at the tab. So Starts out the verse, let's just do the whole verse again. Then he goes to the B7. It sounds to me here he's just going... Or something very close to that instead of playing he only does that at the introduction normally he's just going to the fifth fret or second fret of the fifth string second fret of the sixth string while keeping the b seventh chord open a on the same lick and then into the second verse so this is where Bobby Bland is singing. He, sing, he does the introduction, sings a verse. Now we go to verse number two. So they, I may have screwed that up. I may have called the introduction verse one. But the first singing verse is the second verse of the song. The first one is just instrumental, the opening or introduction. Now when he gets to the third verse, he does uh, another kind of variation. Starts out, same way. <laughs> the same thing. And he does this. First time it's like he hesitates. It's either that or the second time. But then the next time he goes a little quicker. And then back to the one. And he does the five again. So 
that's the second verse. Check the tab and listen to the song. I'm showing you where he's playing. And I listened to those double stop licks a hundred times or so, a lot, trying to figure this out. And it seems like every time I listen to it, I heard something different. Probably just listened to it too much. So maybe you give it a listen, but he's playing that those double stops right between the second and fourth frets. Next verse. Next verse I'm not really going to go through because it's, it's very simple. He doesn't do any of those double stops. He does make a mistake. The guitar player makes a mistake in this part of the song. At about a minute 24, he's supposed to go to the 4 and he actually goes to the 5, to the B7. So he does the third verse very simply like this. <laughs> like he goes to the B7 too soon. You listen to it and see what you think. He should go back to the 4. And the, and the tune, if you listen, he does the B7. But then he recovers. He recovers and gets right back into the song. And for some reason they didn't do a retake. They just left it in there. The song is so powerful you don't really notice. I never noticed it until I focused on the guitar part. There's such an energy to the tune. So anyhow, and then he winds it up. And then he goes into the solo. For the solo now, for Love My Baby, it's very similar to what he did at the introduction, but he's going to play it differently. Just like with the normal verses, when he gets to the like when he was going to sing, he always starts on the four. And that's how the solo starts, and he does this. Let me try to play it for you one, more, one time through. It's pretty simple. It's, we've done all this stuff basically before. We're just recycling it. So he starts out with an open A, and then he goes to that same lick four times. But now another A. Instead of doing this, like we did during the introduction, we're going to hit an open A again, and then immediately walk it down the neck. Just like we did in the introduction. 12, 9, 7, 4, open, 2, open. And to the E. He's going to do it again. Open A. And the B7. from the introduction as the little lead-in with the bass notes. <laughs> 